day everyone we are now on lesson two of chapter one history of taxation in the philippines the history of taxation in the philippines is a complex and multifaceted journey that reflects the country's evolution from pre-colonial societies to a modern nation over the centuries the taxation system has been shaped by various factors including colonial rule economic changes, political developments, and efforts to fund governance, infrastructure, and social programs. Let's explore the key milestones in the history of taxation in the Philippines. Pre-colonial period. So before the arrival of Spanish, of Spanish colonizer in the 16th century, pre-colonial Philippine societies had their own systems of governance and tribute. Local chieftains collected tributes in the form of goods, services, or agricultural produce from their subjects to maintain order and provide for communal needs. Spanish colonial era from 1565 to 1898. Upon the, upon the Spanish colonization of the Philippines, the tributary system persisted but was incorporated into a Spanish colonial tax system. The encomienda and tribute systems were established wherein Spanish colonizers collected tributes from indigenous communities in exchange for protection and access to resources. During this period, the Spanish introduced various taxes including the tribute or cedula personal a head tax imposed on each native individual. Other taxes included the uh, tribute of goods, polo e servicio, forced labor, and bandala, forced sale of goods at low prices for Spanish officials. These impositions heavily burdened the, the indigenous population and contributed to discontent and resistance against Spanish rule. Under American colonial period from, 19, from 1898 to 1946, after the, after the Spanish-American War in 1898, the Philippines fell under American rule. The Americans introduced significant reforms to the tax system, moving away from the tributary system of the Spanish. The Philippine Commission passed Act No. 1189, which created a modern tax system based on the principles of equity and efficiency. New taxes were introduced, including the income tax and business tax. The Philippine Commission also established the Bureau of Internal Revenue, or BIR, in 1904 to enforce tax collection and administration. The post-independence era uh, from 1946 up to present the Philippines gained independence from United States on July 4, 1946. Over the years, the country's tax system continued to evolve to meet the demands of a growing economy and changing social needs. In 1977, the Tax Reform Act was implemented, introducing significant changes to income taxation and corporate taxation. The imposition of value-added tax or VAT, was also introduced in 1988 as a way to enhance revenue collection and streamline the tax system. In 1997, the Comprehensive Tax Reform Package was implemented, a tax law that aimed to address every situation of an individual taxpayer. It may seem to be complicated, but it is a law that serves the needs of the individual taxpayers. The only problem it encountered was that the tax brackets were not automatically adjusted to be on par with the current needs of the taxpayers. Various administrations have implemented tax reforms to address revenue deficit, deficits, stimulate economic growth, and improve tax compliance. One notable reform was the Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion, or the TRAIN Law. It is implemented in 2018, which aimed to reduce the personal income tax rates while increasing consumption 
taxes. The Bureau of Internal Revenue and the Bureau of Customs remain the main agencies responsible for tax collection and customs duties respectively. Despite these reforms, challenges such as tax evasion, a large informal economy, and administrative inefficiencies persist, making tax collection and compliance a continuous area of focus for the Philippine government. The history of taxation in the Philippines reflects the country's develop development from its pre-colonial roots to a modern independent nation. The evolution of the tax system has been influenced by various historical events and socio-economic factors shaping the present-day tax landscape. As the country continues to progress, future tax reforms and initiatives will play a vital role in supporting national development and societal well-being.